Hi, my name is Juliana Celedon and I'm a coffee producer from Costa Rica. I've been growing up around coffee my whole life. My dad started Down to Earth, which is our company, when I was one. And I've always loved it. I've always been very curious about it and I always wanted to learn. Last year, my dad got sick and passed away. So now I'm taking over the business. That's why we're in LA. We're very interested to see uh, what goes on after we ship the coffee. What are the customers looking for? I'm very excited to meet with Yikai from Cognoscenti Coffee Roasters. I have some questions and I can't wait to hear what his take on coffee is. Specialty coffee has really been embraced here. We don't necessarily follow whatever drink is popular. Trends come and go, and, and for us, we're in this for the long haul. I think like most people, we're looking for that unique flavor profile. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, who are we supporting behind that yes. coffee? Konoshenti means someone that's an expert in something. The name came from a, you know, more of a romantic notion. My pursuit, establishing a place for a community, build up conversation. Which is very interesting. I think like sometimes the average person doesn't know much about coffee. And now with places like this, it's very accessible for them to go and learn. And I feel like people are getting coffee like a sense of purpose, more than just to drink, you know, what goes behind it, behind the cup. We opened up this location in 2016. Uh, we have a cafe that's part of the roastery. It gives us an opportunity to be able to taste all the coffees and then highlight it to the uh, public. And as we head back here, this is our roasting facility. Uh, we do um, our bulk coffee roasting on Fridays, doing uh, batches from about 10 pounds to 25 pounds per batch. You're also. a roaster yourself, correct? Yes, we, we started in my friend's backyard. We started with a, a cast iron one kilo, made in Korea, uh, using artisan. We're doing a lot of batches, and and that's where we kind of you know, that's where I kind of learned. I'm still learning yeah, about roasting. Oh, very nice. It's very smooth. Oh, thank you. This is good. Yeah. I feel like it has a great acidity. You know, it's not overwhelming, uh -huh. but it's definitely present, but it present, feels yeah. very smooth. For me, roasting is like being a chef, right? Everyone has their own recipes and everybody will roast different. Like if yeah. I give you a batch of coffee and I take one home and we both roast it, it's gonna taste different. I didn't get into coffee until uh, 2008. I have a background in architecture, oh, so I drank a lot of coffee back then. And ended up visiting Intelligentsia in Silver Lake and had a cappuccino there and... You changed your life. Up, yeah, <laughs> literally. I started as a coffee cart. Started serving to the public and allowed me to kind of taste as much coffee as possible. 2009, we partnered with uh, Proof Bakery uh, in Water Village. So we uh, operated the coffee side, really grew the kind of this beautiful pairing of, of croissants and cappuccinos and brewed coffee. For you to be able to roast good coffee, you have to have very quality beans from the start. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it's also uh, knowing your heat source, you know, what kind of pan are you using? So, yeah. you know, in our case, what kind of roaster? Uh, is it electric or is it gas powered? Yeah. Do you feel like having a roaster adds extra value? It definitely adds a higher level experience, but for us, yeah. it brings that uh, level of education to our staff, yes. you know, closer True. to origin. Yeah. All right, your Cortado. Yes. Thank you. It smells good. How's, how's the temperature? It's good. It's perfect. I actually think that milk brings out a lot. Expands the flavor and everything. It smells out the sweetness a little bit. Exactly, I think. It brings out like a chocolatey note, especially if it has like a nutty taste. I really like it. I think awesome. it's a perfect cortado. Thank yeah, it's you. great. 
people that, that work with us are just as passionate about coffee and we're like-minded as, as far as how we want to showcase that. I love that you have the roaster here. Clients can kind of see that you're roasting the coffee as they buy it and you have some sacks. It feels very warm and welcoming. Yeah. Do you have clients that normally ask you about the coffee process? Oh yeah, if we're roasting, a bunch of questions, we, right? we, always, we always get people. Yeah, that's amazing. I bet, it's just very interesting. I think like sometimes the average person doesn't know much about coffee. Now, with places like this, it's very accessible for them to go and learn. And I feel like people are getting coffee like a sense of purpose, more than just to drink, you know, what goes behind it, behind the cup and the preparation. The best way to drink coffee is the way that you like it. I would say drink as much coffee as possible. I think, I think the, the, the most challenging thing is to uh, uh, build your palate mm -hmm. and to know uh, what you like. And like that takes, got. obviously, yeah, you know, know takes just years, years to, to really develop that. Very happy. This is, this is, I think, the best cortado I've ever had here. I mean, I've had here in LA since I was here. It's good. It's very good.